Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm sorry for being inactive, not uploading any videos within the past year. And the reason for that was I was doing my junior cert. Basically what the junior cert is for anyone who doesn't live in Ireland, it's these exams that you have to sit in your third year of secondary school and they literally mean absolutely nothing but you have to do them. There are practice exams for your leaving cert which is what you do at the end of secondary school and that's what gets you into college. I've been doing my exams at the start of June for two weeks and I went to France for two weeks as well so that's why this video is also late being posted. What you're going to see in this video is a few clips from especially like the first week. I didn't film that much for the second week. I couldn't bring my phone into the exam centre with me because if you're caught, even if your phone's off, you get kicked out of the exam and that's not that good. But for my junior cert I did higher level everything except common level science and common level CSP. I didn't choose business. Although science and business are on what's on the new junior cert course, so I was the one of the first to sit the new science exam, which was quite easy as well. When I went in on the first day, I first thing I saw was a list on the wall of where everyone was for the exams, every, everyone's exam centre, your exam numbers, and I was told to go to the assembly hall to before the exam. I wasn't allowed near the exam centres, especially with my phone. I wasn't allowed in the third year area. Everyone had to stay in the assembly hall, or which is also a canteen, and everyone was studying in there. When I then I had to leave my phone off in my bag, leave my bag in a separate room, and head off the to the exam centre with like just a pen. The superintendent we had for the two weeks was actually really nice. He was always making sure that we didn't have anything on us that could get us kicked out of the exam. Like he was always making sure that we didn't have any phones with us. He was make sure we were nice and calm, especially for the first exam, which was honestly the most scary one because once you see the paper and it says State Examinations Commission on it, I was kind of sitting there like, this is it, this is it. CSP and I found the English exam t was the only exam that I stayed in for the whole duration. Like we're allowed to leave after the first half hour and before the last 10 minutes of the exam but I stayed for the whole two hours for English because I was for English you just actually have to spend the whole time just writing writing 10 questions but it's the one it's the one exam where people get caught off a time so that's why Everyone stays in for two hours. CSP that was an hour and a half long and it was the last CSP exam that they're examining but it was really easy and half my year ended up leaving after an hour like I closed the booklet handed it up and left after an hour as well. English definitely was kind of like at the start, I was really nervous about the exams for some reason. I knew they weren't that important, but everyone was still quite nervous because there was the junior cert. But after the English exam, everyone was like nice and calm down. Like the rest of the exams flew, by the way.
then was Irish paper one and two and because I'm doing higher level Irish I did I had to do both papers surprisingly I found the Irish paper quite easy like my pre all oh, like I could understand a single word and read comprehensions and the unseen prose but the only thing that was hard for me was the listening and the Donegal accent Finnish but other than that it was grand and then paper two I had to study a bit more because you had to do like short evaluate a short story and poem and you also have to write a letter I ended up leaving both exams early like I left the second Irish paper before the last 10 minutes which was reasonable enough like I feel as if if I didn't go to Irish college for the past two years I would be like order level Irish because none of my teachers only like one teacher I had was able to was good enough to teach us but then she ended up teaching the ordinary level class Love, yeah, mm, sometimes I know, yeah, mm, sometimes I don't, yeah, it's time to start, mm, more than I was like, mm, no more man, I'm not in my gold, you man, I'm not getting it. Oh, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. Geography, maths, paper one, and geography, I'm actually, I actually like geography. My teacher is brilliant. He makes it fun for us. We played lots of cahoots before the exams. With geography though, there's a lot of writing and I left the exam early after answering everything I was meant to answer and our t even our teacher said if our hand is not falling off, then we did something wrong. My hand wasn't falling off. I just left early after finishing the exam. So I do not know how it would go in September, but Maths paper one was quite difficult. I did higher level maths for my junior search, but I'm dropping down in. I'm allowed to do higher level in fourth year, my parents said, and I could drop down in fifth year if I need to, so I'll probably end up doing that and doing ordinary level believing search. But higher level maths is really hard and difficult, and you really have to be smart enough to pass the paper at least. Can't call me artist. Can't call me idol. I need more than talent. More than head don't I don't care. I'm proud of it. That childhood. No more irony. None of that denial. So can I get it? Monday then was 
maths paper two and science and maths paper two was just as hard as maths paper one. Like I said, I'm doing order level for my leave search, so I should be okay. Science was the first exam on the new course, so I was doing common level, which means there's no higher or ordinary level, it's just kind of like, yeah. I felt the science exam was really easy, it was just common sense. Like, obviously I did have to study for it, uh, but I managed to answer everything and I'm feeling really confident about the exam, like my pre was good, so I should, uh, hopefully I get good results in September then. I had the Tuesday off because I don't do business, so everyone who did business went into school that day and did the exam, you know. I don't do business, so I did go into school that day. I just stayed home and studied. Wednesday was French and history. I have the same teacher for both French and history, so French was pretty much okay. Like I go to France every year for my holidays, so I I'm like studying French all over the place, and people are speaking in French. That just kind of helps me in some bit, but I don't know. Like my I found my lecture to be really short. Because we have to write a letter at the end of it, at the end of the exam, and my letter was like a page long, so I, I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know what I'm gonna get until September. I don't even. I'm not gonna get the exam back to see where I lost the marks. History then everyone was like, oh George Washington, and all that's gonna come up, because it came up as a question five last year and normally what pops up on question five one year would be on the people in history essay the following year so everyone was studying the george washington would have told essays but then it doesn't come up it doesn't come up this is history i almost failed my pre because i didn't study i put off studying and i went to the office and studied that george washington essay and it doesn't come up. <laughs> Although I feel as if I did much better in my actual exam than I did in my pre because I I just wrote a lot more than I did in my pre. Like my pre was like, oh, I'll just bullshit through this, it'd be grand. The jury search, I actually studied a bit and some things that I did study actually ended up coming up, so that was grand for me. But the exam itself was quite hard as well. Thursday was home ec and religion and the home ec paper is only like 50% because we have to do a cooking exam and a project as well during the year. Home ec was really easy and I finished with it. I left the exam after the first hour in a two hour, two hour and a half exam and I ran into my home ec teacher me and a few girls in my class were we were kind of finished because the exam was usually common sense. We were, we ran into my home ec teacher and she's like, Are you go are you guys finished already? But like I don't know, like I gosh I did really well in my home ec pre like with the paper but I could do really well in paper but I don't know how many cooking exam was marked, I don't know how good my project was because uh, my project was last minute literally putting my blood, sweat and tears into my project last minute every time she wanted to see it religion then and everyone's probably asking oh who does religion as an exam some schools do and it's actually annoying because we don't need it in life we're just forced to do the, to do the like, exam no one, no one in my year really cares that much about religion so I'm not like I didn't study for religion at all and I just Scooped a few questions on paper to be honest. My last exam was on Friday and that was German. I do both French and German in case anyone's wondering because my school's options is off but I'm allowed to drop whatever for leave research. For a German it was quite easy. I started and because it was like my last exam all I wanted to do was leave the exam. So I like even during the listening when there was like pause and I was like 
or the playing it again, I had everything like answers on the section. I'd go to the reading comprehensions to kind of like start them off, go back to the list, and then do, do the next section. And if I've done that, whether we be playing it, do more reading comprehensions, and that just got me out of the exam quicker. And then I handed up my German exam then after an hour and a half in a two hour in a two and a half hour exam and my superintendent was like well done you're finished good luck in September and all that. Overall I didn't really find the exams that stressful they were just really tiring like I've heard things from like friends from Irish college oh it's really stressful I didn't feel stressed a lot I just felt like really tired after the exams especially like I felt especially tired after the second Irish paper like even during the Irish paper I was kind of like half on the seat during the exam but like after the English exam it really doesn't feel as if you're doing the journey search like I'm actually looking back now I was thinking did I really do the journey search do the journey search because like it doesn't feel as if I did it even though I did it anyway that's my journey search experience video I'm I'm on my holidays so I'm gonna try to post a lot more please comment suggestions because I have no nothing at the moment please like comment subscribe do the usual and I'll see you in my next video